Hi everyone, <laughs> you remember me. Uh, this is Cassidy, how you doing? And I'm coming to you from the road. I mean, literally, the road. Um, last year, two years ago, I wrote about coming out to the abandoned Pennsylvania Turnpike. Well, today I'm out again and I'm filming and we are on a stretch of a 12 mile stretch of the turnpike that was abandoned in 1968. And when I call it the road, it's because this particular stretch of highway was actually used for the filming of the movie, The Road. Uh, this is where the boy and the man actually were seen pushing their shopping cart uh, down the highway on their way through post-apocalyptic uh, world that had mysteriously gone to hell. And the reason they filmed it here was because Indiana wasn't offering any tax breaks. And the reason I'm saying we is because I actually have a guest with me today. Come here. Come here. This is Holly. Uh, Holly is uh, one of the women I work with at the uh, state of Pennsylvania. And she wanted to see this marvelous, uh, this marvelous situation we have there. And she's firmly convinced we will be murdered yes, at some point. <laughs> I have written a will. At some point <laughs> along this trip. So, um, but... At least we'll die in a place where Vigo Mortensen once was. Yes, we were. He was here. <laughs> he was here once, yes. So, so were a lot of other people who were filming. Uh, the actual access to the road is right over here, and it's the only place you can get. This section of the highway was abandoned. There's a 12-mile section, and it was abandoned in 1968 due to the fact that they have single-bore tunnels at either end of the highway. Uh, Ray Hill Tunnel is down that way. And it's actually the shortest, or was, I should say, the shortest tunnel on the Pennsylvania Turnpike at the time. Only like 550 feet or about 150 meters. And then down that way, in the distance, is Sidling Hill Tunnel, which was actually the longest tunnel at the time. And what we have here, as you can see, I'm going to show you. See, it's all four-lane highway. See, nice four lane, not so nice anymore. Uh, as I was saying, this road surface has not been touched since 1968, except to test rumble strips in the early 70s. And up there, up ahead, way up ahead, let me telephoto in on you. That's the way to Sidling Hill Tunnel. Can you show me the way to Sidling Hill? Yes, we will, because we're going there uh, later. And Holly's over here brushing yeah, there's <laughs> bugs. There are a lot of bugs here. Uh, what can we say? Um, but we're going to go up. But what happens is this was a four-lane highway, as you can see. But when they put the tunnels in, the tunnels were only single bore. They went down to two lanes. So you had one lane going east, one lane going west, which wasn't that bad of a deal when they first built this highway in like the 1930s. By the 1960s, when there was a lot more traffic on the highway, they were getting these enormous traffic jams, especially in this stretch here with the two tunnels, because they're only separated by about, about five or six miles, um, or about 10 kilometers. So you'd have a situation where you'd get a choke point down that way, and then you'd get a choke point down that way. And the Turnpike Commission decided since there were seven tunnels on the Pennsylvania Turnpike at the time, they needed to figure out if they were going to do an, a side drill, which would allow two lanes of traffic to go either way, or if they were going to figure out a way to bypass by f going over the mountain, essentially. And one out of the tunnel, Lauren Hill Tunnel, which is over on mile marker 100 closer to Pittsburgh, they bypassed that. That was the first tunnel to bypass, I believe, in 1965. And that tunnel is now being used by Bobby Rahel Racing. They actually sealed off both ends of the tunnel, put an airlock at one end, and they used it to test race cars, believe it or not. It's about 4,000 foot long. Here, they went up way up. You can't see it here, but they went way up on over Sidling Hill mountain and they left this 12 mile stretch nine miles of it or so can be accessed by the public uh, there's a three mile stretch that's actually used by PennDOT Pennsylvania Department of Transportation to store things and people come out here and hike people come out here and bike uh, people come out here and, and, 
and get murdered like Holly is Holly is firmly convinced you know you're going to find this is going to be found footage film you know it isn't going to be Cassidy and Holly's excellent adventure it's going to be their bogus journey to death and uh, so this is it uh, this is this is what we're looking at we're way down in a valley here I mean if we screamed no one would hear us <laughs> literally no one would hear us there's nobody around for about two miles in any direction and it's hot oh boy it's it's already hot so so next thing i'm going to do is we're going to head up the road here not walk we're going to drive uh the rambling wreck is just right over the right over on the other side of the hill here and we're going to drive up the sidling hill hike up to the entrance and my next video will show you what it looks like <laughs>